The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will be streamed live. Welcome back to the Critical and Thinking Podcast. Uh, I am Ian Harris. I'm Ty Barnett. And we are back again talking what we always talk, That's politics right. and the insanity <laughs> of our country. And we have a guest today. We don't always have guests, but when we do have guests. We have great guests. Um, so You have the most tremendous, the, the, the best guest. The, sorry. The so best just, guest. She's already stepped in. She's, she, must, she must be from... <laughs> but, but I want to... Let me see if I get this right. Because uh, I, I love your name. I'm not even saying oh. that just to say it, but I love your name. No. Uh, Yvette. Bet detriment. Am I saying Close. that right? Close. <laughs> Close. It's detriment. Don't. Don't. Don't tremble. Don't tremble. <laughs> it's okay. I. I. I don't hold this against anybody if they can't pronounce this. It's a ridiculous name that starts with a Y, <laughs> has a lowercase for the first letter of the last name, and then has an apostrophe just for funsies because I love French. It. And right in the so. middle, Chardé. I don't know why. Um, I love it. So I I got married earlier this year, and I was I told my husband I'm like, yeah, I'll take your last name if I can take the middle name Danger. (laughs) Wait, wait for it though. My husband's last name is Ross. Say say it. Danger Ross. Danger Ross. Danger Ross. Okay. I think. I think that's exactly why he told me to keep my maiden name. Ah, <laughs> yes. I see what you so, did there. I see what yeah. you did there. Danger it's Ross. Danger Ross. Oh, it's, I mean, it's the number of times in my life people have been like, I, I just hope you meet a man named Smith one day. I got really close. <laughs> <laughs> he has he has a very just, uh, just normal, uh, not normal, he has a very, uh, uh, you know, normative. Uh, it's like it's just you know in, in English language, he has a very normative uh, name. I think it's the way to phrase it. Yeah, it's 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 definitely not d'entremont. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's but I, I was about to say he's got a little d'entremont in him now, but that's not the direction that goes. Hilarious. <laughs> so. I, that, that's that's safe for your porn for your uh, porn podcast. Or he, or he was oh, in a, I, or, or he was in a little detriment. I was just saying it's not it's not just it's not just a porn podcast. It's a porn cast. A porn cast. That's that's right. Uh, oh yeah. And there's a whole sure. pornocopia of wordplay, uh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> wordplay. That's gonna, what we're starting this podcast off with. I'm a, I am a cunning linguist. While I talk about, oh, that's too obvious. <laughs> yes. That's too easy. You're a, cun- a cunning linguist. Yes. So. She's very has and a, a master debater. She has a, a talented <laughs> mouthpiece. Oh, <laughs> <Is> that, <laughs> I've been I've been called worse. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've I think that's a highly <laughs> that's a good compliment. <laughs> right. A good mouthpiece. <laughs> It's been yeah. I mean, we've only recorded a few episodes of our podcast so far, but the I, I was surprised. I was expecting more pushback from my usual audience, the you know the very pro science and evidence audience, because it really is a podcast discussing, as we say it, the holes and plot holes in your favorite porn. Nice. Uh, ah, oh, right. You, you don't even know what I'm writing and, down and, right and, now. And, and, as, as you said, oh I am writing porn and exclamation points as far as notes <laughs> of what to talk about. And, and by the way, you the, the the sad thing about porn. I guess it's not sad. I guess it's awesome thing. Is it everything is a pun? When you said pushback, I went hee hee pushback. Push. Uh, like if yeah. <laughs> everything it's, sounds like a porn pun, we're all in. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Every oh geez, it's, yeah. There's nothing that doesn't sound like you're riffing on it, which I think is part of the joy in this. But the uh, I, I've been surprised. Like we've only been up for uh, a, like two less than two days at this point, and we already have like a, I, I don't want I, I don't want to get into numbers. At the, like I'll get into numbers when we're offline, mm. but we already have like a handsome amount. Of, uh, of 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 uh, downloads, which I'm I'm quite surprised at how fast it's going. But I need to stop being surprised for this. I have a decent sized platform. Well, so, it's good to have a lot of hands around when porn's involved. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, someone you need you need the hands need the need the hands need the need the nipples need the whatever you can get your claws on with oh consent of course <laughs> see I, I think we see at first i wrote down porn as the last thing to talk about but there's no way we can go into politics <laughs> right now let's talk yeah. porn and then we'll bring it back it's, to yeah. politics well, and then from there porn always goes into mike pence so yeah, there we go. Go. It's, I was about to say, or Mike Pence goes into, oh God, no. <laughs> no, Mike uh, Pence goes into a, got, into a truck stop bathroom. He, That's a difference. He goes, he goes into, as he calls her, mother. Oh, oh my God. Mother. That's, oh, even, it's, oh. That's, just, that's some skin crawling, vomit and do some that, I wonder if, I wonder if, is that, is that a porn, I wonder if that's like a porn, um, Genre? Like, no, well, no, no. Just I was just about to say there are so. First of all, I am there's amazed. That's not a porn genre. There's right. so many of them. If you go on, I used to go on this site back in the day, a long time ago, about two weeks ago. <laughs> um, is this this, <laughs> this uh, is called uh, uh, Tiava? Okay. You ever heard of Tiava? 
You've I had... haven't, but I, I'm guessing since we're talking about porn, this is something I should know about. Oh yeah, yeah. Look, go go. I don't know. I haven't been on it in a long time, and that's for real. I'm being honest. I, I made myself a promise when I got my new computer. I said I will not look at any porn on my new computer, and I have stuck by that promise. Right. I have stuck by. I mean, even more so much so that when I went and got my computer fixed, and you know how they said, "Well, we're gonna need to go into your computer like, remotely." Go and I'm ahead. Like, exactly. <laughs> I, but, but no, I'm not gonna lie. It took two seconds to at least think. Like, wait, wait, a minute, hold on. I haven't been. No, yeah, yeah. go ahead. No problem. There's nothing. <laughs> Here, There's none at all. But on on Tiava, there is it's alphabet it's alphabetized, and it has literally so I I did not even know it was that many porn categories to where it, <laughs> nothing makes it's, you feel I mean, old other than looking at a gazillion right. things of porn categories. Look, I'm I'm just saying the category the subcategories of anal alone. <laughs> They're subcategories. <laughs> wow, you would just think it's in and out. <laughs> it's you know I, it's well you know you have to do more than in and out there's the whole motion in the ocean thing I'm just saying <laughs> just saying <laughs> but no it's it's been like the whole development of this like we got the idea for this on like August fifteenth uh, put out a tweet saying hey if we did this podcast uh, would you listen and so about three weeks later it's we already have our first two episodes up so nice. my my nice. partner uh, my partner Alice you can find her on Twitter at rash uh, at at rational blonde uh, and she is uh, it's she's kind of an unstoppable force of nature like she gets an idea and she's like I'm gonna do this thing it's gonna be up and going in two weeks and we're gonna make it succeed like crazy I'm like well okay I love it uh, that that and she's as much of a pervert as I am so this is great good that's but actually we, a good segue to the next question oh, yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite porn category Oh, uh, let's see. What should mm, I? That's that's like asking me to ch choose between children, uh, it's, which which I think is only wow. acceptable for me to say because I don't have you don't kids. have children. I'm about to say, I'm not, that's, no, that's not the connection. But is that no, the Roy no, Moore no. category? That's, like, oh, God, no, no, you. Sorry, that that came out. Uh, hashtag phrasing. Yes. Um, <laughs> but the uh, it's um, if I wanted to go for favorite like it's in terms of because i don't want to i don't want to give up my favorite to watch you know with the husband my favorite for uh <laughs> for uh um for watching for this like we're just getting into it but i really dig the retro porns like me I, too our episode our first episode <laughs> was deep throat and it's like i didn't realize how different the acting style and everything was and I mean, oh she actually pays attention to the acting have, <laughs> if wow. you've Oh no, we actually are critiquing the acting. Like oh. we're critiquing the cinematography, the and basically any random fleeting funny thought that we have. Like I, I sit there for you know an hour or two. I suffer for my art truly. <laughs> uh, watching you know watching it and just jotting every last note, every last you know thought that I have, and then Alice and I go through and have a funny little time discussing what they did well, what they what they didn't, did you know was for the type of porn they were making, how well was it executed? Because we're not going to be discussing things that wear into we're just trying to see if we got some some modicum of entertainment what wow. you know trying to figure out what the thought process was behind it and it's just been it's been very fast paced and like we've already gotten a, a decent number of uh, of guests lined up for it we had uh, ella darling who's also known as the queen of vr porn on for our second show nice. uh, we have we have a couple of interviews lined up with uh, other uh, other people who uh, who act in the porn industry uh people we actually have a, a friend who's a porn writer they have writers wow yes i gotta be i gotta be totally honest with you there is time there are times that i have never thought about the acting in porn like i've always looked at oh. it like let me get right to what i gotta get to yeah. and get, get out of here the penis doing a thing and well, i'm this, happy no. well, that, that's yeah. that's how porn is now though like porn porn now is just it's, the scenes oh, yeah, but you forget when you go back in the amateur. old days they actually cared about like I thought it was funny. I think it's funny they when you made look a back. Movie, yeah. yeah, they they thought they were actors. <laughs> it was like it's, hilarious. My God, like the, my, my biggest uh, realization from watching Deep Throat is that Linda Lovelace, who you know she she was wonderful in the movie, obviously, uh, but her best acting is done with a dick in her mouth. Yeah, right. uh, well, yeah, it's, this, I this mean, given that the whole the point is, yeah, I mean, the whole point is in this movie to say she has a clitoris in the back of her throat and she gets off from sucking dick, which I think is every man's fantasy is just. That's you know the woman is going to be so happy. <laughs> and, and to, enjoy it. Wait, wait, that's that's not a fantasy. And, and
until dudes, until dudes. <laughs> That's how it like, works. They were freaked out. Like, wait a minute, wait, wait. They don't have a quit in their mouth though, right? Because it's horrible. We got to <laughs> find one of them. Don't tell us we got to find two of them. This is ridiculous. Yeah, well, actually, there is a, a movie that we're referring to as reverse deep throat, where instead of having the clitoris in her throat, she has it on the back of her neck. And I'm just curious how the fuck they do that. I haven't watched it yet, but what? my partner has. But we've, yeah. It's, I mean, it's funny because the acting quality has changed over the years. And once upon a time, I think that the orgasms looked a little more real and the acting while they yeah. weren't while they weren't doing some 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 sexing the acting while they were just you know talking was way worse so the acting now is actually better which is not saying a lot <laughs> but I, I honestly like i prefer i preferred the retro just like yeah, i preferred the retro before a couple of reasons uh and i don't know if ian's the same way but uh i like the retro for uh one because they had hair they did not remove their hair and i'm a, i don't know why but i've that's always been a huge ridiculously huge turn on um it's- it is kind of childlike, which is weird. Yeah, but so. I, 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 I got to be honest with you. I do not. It trips me out that dude, grown dudes prefer women that are shaved bald down there, like nothing. I'm like, that it's, is weird to me. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't mind grooming. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah. but, but have, like, let me know you're an adult. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, leaving a landing strip at yeah. least seems helpful. It's, right. It's like, oh, okay, you're, it's okay for me to be looking at this. Yeah, I, I don't want it bare like that. That's true. I've always been just a little bit kind of weirded out by that. Uh, and amateur porn. I love amateur porn a thousand times way more than the big production. Big production. Right. Uh, I think porn. you know they they all have some similarities because they always have to they have to shoot in a way that you can see everything. So when uh, you know like nobody shoots like you know while they're giving uh, well, no man while he's he's banging someone doggy style like has his hip turned out to the camera so you can see everything. <laughs> like there are strange things that they do to make the sex. Look, you can see the uh, mic boom and the thing like oh yeah. come on you guys. Oh yeah. Well, with amateur porn, dear God, you always see them. There's always like several mic uh, moments. But no, it's it's it was funny because watching uh, like because we're just starting into the the uh, the amateur porns and or, or the sorry the um, the older ones and they the sex seems more natural in them somehow. Like they're still you know someone's still sitting there a cameraman with a you know lying underneath a person with his with his camera underneath the actual like point of insertion. So wow. there's. There's always some stra- like think about I like to when I watch this stuff I think who you know who approved the script uh, what you know is does this does the acting take you out of the moment uh, like how how do they decide on this very strange angle from which you're never really seeing the sex <laughs> so it you know there are a lot of different you know random questions that pop up while I'm watching this beyond just oh really she fucked the pizza boy bullshit <laughs> I, I, I want to know I want to know if 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 the if the writers were ever going she she's she's destroyed my words I wrote it. that's my masterpiece and she I didn't say ah, she's no what is she saying this is like, <laughs> look at her facial expressions this does not seem genuine this was not my vision of yes. beauty oh man it's I and here's the thing I have no idea it's possible like I I don't know what goes on the top behind the scenes and that's kind of why we want to do this we want to uh normalize uh, you know talking about this a little bit because people still seem a little hesitant uh to talk about it without without it being shamed based or without you know hiding that they have uh that they watch it and it's like guys we all watch it let's let's have a chat about it let's talk about stuff in the industry and i mean we had when we talked to ella uh it turned out she has a master's in library science so like we had we had stuff to delve into uh that wasn't just porn related like we're trying to we're trying to get scientists and comics (laughs) comics come on Mm -hmm. uh, onto the uh onto the show and it's like one of our uh, upcoming episodes we're planning on comparing uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, direct uh, to, uh, to to Secretary, and then to this other movie called The Training of Genji, which are they're kind of different levels of quote realism with BDSM. So it's going to be interesting to look over that with uh, with with the dominatrix is the is the plan. Nice <laughs> dominatrix. So, that was another that was I, another category in there that I liked for a hot second. Um, <laughs> for a hot second, no, no, don't get me wrong. Like I, I, I still like it, but like some of it just got a little bit too dominatrix y if that's there the word. There's some, yeah, there's some stuff in there that gets pretty intense. Like I, I've. I've seen some things that I'm like, this is not my bread and butter. This no. is not what I want. <laughs> Let me tell you, but- I, I don't like, okay, first of all, do not 
grab my ball. I mean, we're just going to talk, right? Okay. Uh, <laughs> do not grab my balls in, in any way other than gently. Don't do that. Uh, do not slap them. Do not do anything. Oh, Actually, do oh. not slap my face. Like, I, I've What's never... the thing now? They, that, there's so much slapping and spinning nowadays. Have you noticed that? Yeah. It's- uh, like what? There's so much slapping and, and most, spitting. And here's the thing: most of it's in the direction of the of the submissive or the bottom or right. the you know most of the time the women. I'm guessing in the porn you guys are watching. So it's like I, I'm curious: why couldn't they just lube that shit up before they started filming? Why was that <laughs> such a hard thing to do? Like this is the, I, at least that's the way I look at it. But you know these are questions that I have for people in the industry to ask: why you know why are these things like little? Uh, why are these uh, things that we keep going back to and seeing in porn, and it's I, I'm I'm fascinated by it, uh, and I I think it's a good idea to use this as kind of a platform for talking about you know uh, society and how we view sex, uh, sex in the media, uh, and and kind of other topics that are really tangential to that. Like at some at some point we're going to be doing Fact to the Future uh, and a, a Jurassic <laughs> Bones parody, and we're getting a paleontologist and a quantum physicist to come on. Nice. So, nice. So we're trying really hard to make this not just, hey, there was boning, but hey, there's boning. And here's some interesting fact to help you out through your day. <laughs> so <laughs> you have somebody we're... there like, hey, can you just wake me when the porn starts? I don't really oh, want to. I wasn't here for the facts. I just came here to get off. OK, yeah. <laughs> It's, I, if someone's getting off to my voice, you know what? Fucking good for them. <laughs> it's, but you know what? There's all this porn on the internet that they can watch. I, I don't know if you've heard. It's easy to find. Yeah. So. Would you know what? Easy, yeah. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Uh, do you think... Yes. Because, you know, we've come a long way in technology. Like, there used to be a time, and I don't know, uh, but... When you in Ian, you notice like when we would drive on the road sometimes, like you see on the side of the freeways, these old bookstores, oh, you know, yeah. the adult yeah. bookstores, they still have them. In a oh, lot they, of it, that's, oh, yeah. So that's exactly the point. It's like it trips me out that there's they, they still exist when all you to me, when you if you're going in those places now, you're not going for the porn. You're, you're, you're going for something for else. Toys. Yeah, yeah you, like most, you're going for something else yeah. because most to me, most places, yeah, they stock they stock everything from like bachelorette party stuff. Oh look, plastic penises yeah. to you know to dildos to really really trashy lingerie. And I'm not I'm not saying trashy lingerie is an insult. It can be fun sometimes, but it's not like oh there's lingerie in here and it's akin to Victoria's Secret. No, <laughs> right, no. Yeah. I think, I think I'm, a, I'm a minimalist though when it comes to lingerie. I've never been uh, I've never been big into sex. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's cool. I'm not gonna turn it down but like I've always been like a, a t-shirt and, and, and shorts actually does it for me well, you, you know the thing to me is, is that that the, the reason a lot of times I think guys and at least from my perspective don't really so much care about that sort of stuff is because to me lawn, that lingerie is kind of like when you if you were to stumble upon somebody in lingerie or, or dress skimpily the idea for a guy's mentality is oh this girl is trying to attract a guy or trying to attract me specifically. Right. She's trying to turn me on. Oh, if, if it's course. like if it's like your wife, you're like, I already know what what I'm here for. So it's just like get those things off and let's <laughs> let's move on. It's like like my friend and I. It was Dan Gabriel who said it. I can't remember. It was one of the comic friends. I was like, I never understood prostitutes, you know, because it's like. Um, and, and I was like, we were talking about it, and he summed it up so easily. He goes, he goes, yeah. He goes, I mean, the whole fun for me is knowing that I talked her into it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, that was like the like the joke is that I don't want to pay for sex. Like the nah. whole idea is that she's there because she's into me. If she's not into me, there's no, there's nothing back. It is you know? a bit of a turn off. Well, I you. mean, there. It's funny with the uh, sorry to interrupt, but it's it's what I'm good at, so I should stick to it. Uh, but the uh, the thing with uh, I, I've heard this a, a couple times. The thing with prostitution is you don't pay them to to fuck you; you pay them to leave. And right. that's not that's obviously not true in all cases. I'm not saying this to be uh, to be dismissive of sex work or sex workers, but it, it's uh, some people who can, definitely can get laid, uh, you know, out in the universe with their uh, you know with just a combination of their looks, charm, personality, etc. Sometimes. Sometimes that's just not what they want. It's just like I want this. I want no strings attached. I want the the, the sex afterwards to just you know. The, I want the any type of relationship afterwards to not be there. And that's you know like or you know there there are a lot of different reasons why uh, people hire sex workers, uh, you know, and or choose that as opposed to uh, as opposed to you know hitting the club or going on right. Tinder. And you know what? Uh, whatever consenting adults want to do, not my business. Uh, yeah, but this, do it. Speaking of 
but you were saying about, you know, you want to feel like, like they actually want you and that, you know, they're, you know, the chase is there to, 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 you know, have some sort of a payoff. Um, I, I, I've heard, I've heard that the payoff with, uh, uh, with a sex worker as much as, uh, they're, they're going to fuck you really goddamn well if that's what you're paying for. However, friend of mine, uh, because, because we, you know, live in LA and people do weird things. A friend of mine had, uh, a, a friend of his hired a sex worker for him for a night. And this guy works, you know, off and on in Hollywood as a director. And he's like, you know, my job is to direct people to not be bad actors. And there I had bad acting right on top of me. <laughs> oh, oh. So you, you cannot act like no matter how much you want to, you can't act, you know, convincingly like this person uh, made you, you know, want them through whatever all the different ways that we uh, that we attract someone. So it's I just think that's funny. Well, the, the chase is definitely a, a huge part of it for uh, for for dudes but i also feel like to your point it is more so about no strings i don't want to have to worry right. about yep you catching feelings or anything right. I, I i want you or, in and out and gone you know which is so many puns right, I know, right? <laughs> well, or if you're like a celebrity imagine imagine if you're someone who if you're a brad pitt or whoever a ryan Reynolds, oh, somebody super famous whatever you there is no chase anyway you just no. you just walk to the bar and go hi you want to come back to oh sure like that's how it would work so i'm yeah. sure in those cases it's well, like look i want somebody who is not going to talk who might sign an nda or whatever right. the deal is it's like yeah. I, I get in those in those sort of convenience things where it's like i don't want to have to deal with some some random person that I picked up at a bar because I'm a super celebrity. I, yeah. I get I get it in those cases too, where it's like it's like a service, really, you know. Yeah, it's I I mean there are a lot of different reasons why, like other than just you know wanting to get an orgasm. Right. Uh, there are a lot of different reasons why people uh, why people opt for that. And you know what? They're they're valid. I'm not going to tell another adult how to run their life. I know that uh, it's I, I just I find it fascinating that even though there is such a high percentage of, of people or a higher percentage than we would guess uh, that do uh, that do, uh, you know, pay for sex. I, I think it's weird that we have such a taboo on it because this is not uh, it's like this is this is not a new thing. It's not a thing. that's the oldest away. profession in the, in the business. Right. And I say that uh, other. Other than religious hustler, I think. Uh -huh, yeah. Okay. So well, I was gonna say, speaking of, we can probably switch over to politics. <laughs> right. Good. So yeah. Well, the, and and we know that uh, that nowadays it's it's definitely not a not a big deal. Our president keeps paying for it. Goodness gracious. <laughs> and no well, one I, seems to give paying, two shits. Is he paying for the sex, or is he paying for the women to not talk about the sex Both. afterwards? Oh, yeah. Well, either way it goes, it's been a bad deal because yeah. They, yeah. they're not they're not not talking. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and and I'm telling I, I don't I don't know what he paid for the sex, but I know he paid. Hundred and hundred and thirty grand for them to, yeah. which, which, if honestly, if I were Stormy Daniels, I'd be paying Trump one hundred and thirty grand. No, I didn't have sex with that guy. No, uh, anyway. so, I'd, I'd be paying him to shut up about it. So, uh, so I, let me ask you something. Do you think? Because it goes, it goes to the the next thing we're talking about here. Yeah. Um, when? Why do you think it is? Because not even two years ago, not even barely two years ago, if you would have asked these quote unquote conservatives, quote unquote evangelicals, quote unquote Christians, quote unquote <laughs> God fearing people. If you were to ask them, hey, if your president paid porn stars, first of all, he was fucking porn stars while married and paid them off two years ago. Using campaign finance. Using campaign money. finance. Those same people would have said, uh, hey, he's out. Why do you think it is that they have now said, hey, God said it was cool? Uh, two two reasons. I know conservative who conservatives who don't agree with a goddamn thing from Trump, but they're like, but my tax cuts. I'm like, son of a bitch. Another president who's not a flaming dumpster fire uh, could probably give you some tax cuts. But yes. I think the the other reason, like it's he's basically he's signing through all the stuff they want. He's putting uh, anti-abortion justices on the on the Supreme Court. He's giving them, you know. And the other thing is, he's a hateful sack of shit. And the people who really uh, who wanted that who that the hateful racist uh xenophobic um misogynistic sack of shit they see mm -hmm. some of themselves in that that's more important to them honestly than than, than their christianity i've said that i keep saying that like oh, yeah. like trump is now that like that that's their religion they're just they're tribalistic so it has nothing oh, yeah. really to do with they're oh. tribalistic when it's when they're christians and as soon as a better tribe comes along they just jump ship to that and right now their tribe is is racist trump nonsense yeah. i mean th Which, this tax shit no. they, we haven't even 
even got taxes back yet. Like, no. you know. Yeah, and I mean, it's what's sad to me about uh, the people that have have jumped on this, uh, you know, because because you know Trump is Trump is just a giant dog whistle. Uh, he or he's a walking he's a walking talking one. But the uh, there's the the thing that's kind of upsetting is that you know these people had these horrible thoughts before. Already. Like they didn't what. They did not wake up no. racist. They didn't wake up saying it's okay to, you know, of course every woman wanted to fuck this giant orange trash heap. Uh, <laughs> this is like they, but now they have themselves convinced because he's doing the things that they want. And it's like, if, if, I mean, we all know it's true. If Obama had done a fraction, any, never mind, any, a, a lesser a degree single one. of any yes. one of these things, uh, he'd be, they'd be like, time for impeachment. I mean, for fuck's sake, they were ready to impeach him over a tan suit. I Damn swear straight. to God. Damn so, straight. Or saluting with coffee. Remember that when he had yeah. a cup oh, yeah. of coffee in his hand and it was like had, Fox News yeah. for nine months. I mean, how, how many times did they go after him He's and Hillary for, oh, for Benghazi but, and never found oh a goddamn God. thing? But, in, but, but and the reason why I say Benghazi mails, Benghazi. They have Benghazi mails. That's funny. Benghazi mails. Um, but no, that's but that's why it, it, it because again I've never claimed to be uh, you know like I, I in because Ian is you know he's atheist and all that and I pray like I'm I don't, I'm not a church goer but I have a, I have faith in in something that's, other that's than cool. this. So to I, me, I feel like I have never been one to wrap myself into a book and go to a yeah. place and and worship this this thing in the sky like that. But I do have a certain code that I live by. And I say, well, wait a minute. I don't want my president <laughs> fucking porn stars lying about it and then still acting like he's a Christian. Like, that's yeah. me. Like, that's me. But when I see people who have let all of this go to what you said earlier, to me, it's more so about them saying, I see myself in this guy. This is why yes. I'm letting this go, because if it was me, I would want people to let it go on my end. Do you see what right. I'm saying? Yep. So that's exactly. why you got a lot of these people that I mean, stuff that you would honestly you would look at. And this isn't decades ago. This isn't like a long nope. time ago. We were against this. This was not even two years ago. Right. That we yeah. were against these. And now actually the bar changes because every week is something new that they're all right. We're cool with that now. We're Fine. But, it, it, but the, the thing, the thing though, is that is that they 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 couch all of this in free speech and and not being politically correct and and it's like it really you know, all it is is they they just wanted it they wanted it, it it to be okay to say the vile shit they've been thinking for all these years and they call that political correctness and no, it's like no it, that's uh, racism. <laughs> yes. If, if they actually cared about free speech, they would have been standing in lockstep with Kathy Griffin. Yeah. They do not give a shit about free speech. Or Colin, way, or Colin Kaepernick. Or Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. We should, not a, we'll get to that yeah, in a well, second. Well, didn't didn't you know Colin Kaepernick's black? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's. I've heard rumors that they don't that that you know those those opinions don't matter. So. The, well, you know what, and and that is actually, and this is why we come to this 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 part in the country where, and and I told you, and, and Ian, Ian and I have talked about this. It would be way easier for me to accept if people just said, you know what. I don't like people that don't look like me. I don't. I just don't. Don't ask me but why. I don't have a real explanation for it because there is no explanation for it. I just don't like people that don't look like me. If they it's did... Kinda, go ahead, go ahead. It's kind of like, like I would I would love the same thing. I would love it if one of these people who is a, a, uh, anti-gay would just come up and be like, look, the thought of two gay... And I'm, I'm semi... I'm paraphrasing Patton Oswalt. I don't want to steal a joke. Uh, mm -hmm. But if these people were to just come out and say, yeah, uh, the thought of two guys doing it makes me vomit. Like, I could, I, I, I wouldn't agree with them, uh, but I would go, all right, at least you're being honest. Yeah, <laughs> at least, because at it, least it's just, yeah. Because it's really coming from a standpoint of your personal viewpoint on it. But don't say, well, I don't like the idea of two guys having sex because of my religious beliefs or right. because of... Yeah. Well, Jesus and, and then we can, you a bigot. And then we can also have a discussion about it. Okay, you don't like two guys having sex. Okay, cool. You don't like the color of this guy's skin. Okay, cool. So now we can agree that you just don't like it for no valid reason and you don't even know why. So can you agree that we shouldn't fucking legislate based on these based things? On like at least we it's, can have the discussion. Then good. Then you know what? Don't hang out with black people. Don't fuck dudes. Everything's good. Yeah. You're good to go. Let's let them move because on. Because neither one of but, those neither one of those categories messes with you personally. None of them. Yeah. Neither one. But I mean 
But notice, uh, the people who are complaining about uh, about uh, gay people, they're always complaining about gay men. There's not a lot of complaints about gay women, especially from the group that you are sure are watching uh, <laughs> lesbian porn. Like, hey. Is- I think they're watching gay male porn, too. If you look at the oh, statistics yeah. in the in the Bible Belt, it's... And, and then and then the fact that, that what did they say when the, the Republican National Convention two years ago, when it... Uh, I forgot where, where, where it was held, but the number of, of gay prostitutes on oh, yeah. Craigslist, like... Went yeah. tenfold. Oh, yeah. Who was they, the who was the bank from that? Oh yeah. Who was the uh, and I can't remember his name right now. Who was the uh, the guy that got caught? He was a GOP dude. Got oh, caught. Uh, Larry Larry Craig. Well, there's one. There's one every week Larry, that gets caught. Right, but but he got caught in the hotel room with the with the one. boy. It was like 17, 18 oh. year old. Oh, that was um. Oh, oh that. Yeah, the big heavy, the heavy set guy. Um, I'll find him. Oh, I remember which one you're talking about now. Yeah, but yeah I, I just, he looks the guy. He, he looks almost looks Hispanic like or a dumb, it's, right? There's, yeah, I'm just. You know what the is, the crazy thing is that all I got to do is type in GOP caught with gay and a n- number of things come up. Well, that's the problem. <laughs> well, that, that, that's actually the problem is then you have, then you have to weed through like three thousand of them and go. Like, oh no, no, that was last week's. Oh no, 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 you mean the other one? Oh no, you mean the other one? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah it's it, i mean if they just got over this whole you know this whole thought that gays are are bad and came out and lived the lives they wanted to or told you know or if it was more acceptable for uh, for men to be bisexual because i'm sure some of these some of them have actually enjoyed the sex they've had with their wives for all these years but i i think that if we made it uh, more acceptable for people to be uh, to be bisexual. Uh, weren't so shamey about all the uh, about you know anything that's off of the uh, missionary at nine thirty at night on a Saturday under the covers uh, style sex. Then we would be like the Republicans would be better off if they dropped this. Like because right. they have people who who support them because they you know they they you know gays want low taxes too. Shocking. <laughs> that's right. Uh, but you know that's like I I know. I um, I have a friend uh, who um, it's it was gay man in L.A. Uh, and his his boyfriend voted Trump because as he phrased it he was just tired of all the political incorrectness. <laughs> wow! And I mean, like, which or sorry, political correctness. Correctness, right? and, uh, and and now he yeah, gets to get called all kinds of words. Jim Jim, well, uh, I'm sorry, it was Ralph Shortney. Ralph Short Shorty was it? Shorty Short Shorty Shorty, Shorty? Shorty. Shorty. Yes. Shorty. Yes. Ralph Shorty. Yeah, like, um, now I now I have to look this up because I'm curious if I'm thinking of the same guy as you. Oh yeah, man, see the, the fact so that. There's many. another person that might be. Well, there was, there, there, was, there, was the, yeah. there was the two or three different truck stop guys with their feet underneath the. the oh, yeah. Those guys. There was a dude in the airport. Remember the dude yeah. in the oh, airport? Yeah. There's, there's been a lot of them. Um, so, so I feel like, and this is why I say we're at a point right now where. Because I even I even asked this, this question. This was not the person I was thinking of. So there are two. There's another one, exactly. Uh, guys who who were like, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the sex and claim that. Oh I'm no, not yeah, no, because it. it was the other guy who who got caught at his, in his uh in his office. No, who's that? That's another. See, that's another Republican another, guy that oh got caught God. with the, with the and and with the with I'm the guy in his office. I'm looking him up right now. Yeah, that was like a year ago. Oh, okay. I found but, a picture of him. Let me see if I can find. But uh, I also, the, the I also himself. feel like if they, if they would just come out, because it, 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 not just with the 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 gay thing, but with the race thing, but with this also this idea of classism. Like you, this is why when they talked about health care for a while, they was like, well, why should I have to have the same health care as somebody else? Because everyone, oh, for some reason, these people want to feel like they're better than somebody. Right. Even it's, when they're not. Even yeah. when they are not, they want to feel like, well, wait a minute. Healthcare for all, what, wait, that means that everybody gets the same well, rights as me. If, then what is your fucking yeah. problem with well, everyone what about having me? that? It's like, yeah. well, what about me? I did, I worked everything correctly. I sh- Since I paid for it, like, for fuck's sake. I mean, I have been on, like, I, I grew up. Uh, with uh, with what call it without insurance, and every so often we would have our insurance covered by the state because my parents made so little money. But like it didn't, it you know that's a long rant for another day. But shit, if people, uh, I, I don't see why people look at families that accept uh, that that accept uh, you know assistance with medical coverage or on Medicare or you know have need some sort of state assistance. It's kind of horrible to look at those people and go, ah, you're the freeloader when there are tons of uh, of 
you know, reasons why, why that's needed, why healthcare is, you know, healthcare is so expensive. It's just, I, I have a lot of, uh, of, of anger about that from growing up needing, uh, you know, needing public assistance. Cause it's, I, do they want to cut off healthcare from children? Do they want to cut off healthcare from people who are so sick they can barely work, uh, and really need the assistance? Well, like, I don't see why we, we see it as an acceptable thing in this country that people go bankrupt paying for their medical bills well, and, and and why people don't want other people to have health care i mean in in like tom uh, like like ty was saying that if if you um you have these these people who who just don't want other people to have health care because somehow that puts them on an equal footing or, or and it's like well you can even if you had even if we had a government health care even if we had a single payer a single payer a, a government option we could, you can still, like other countries, go get better private insurance, you yeah. fucking hillbilly. Like, it's like, you, you know what I mean? You, you don't, yep. you don't have to have, but it, it's, it, I'm looking up the quote because it, it reminds me of the the quote that everybody always says, uh, LBJ said, if, if you can convince the lowest white man, he's better than the best colored man. He, oh, won't, yeah. he won't notice when you're picking his pocket. He'll, yeah. uh. Uh, hell, give him somebody to look down on, and he'll empty his pockets for That's, you. That's uh, dude. Uh, all of this stuff exactly. is actually swing. All of these things are swinging right into the next thing that we're going to. Okay, so this is what I wrote today on, uh, and, and I really got to take a break from Facebook. I really do. <laughs> I, I tell <laughs> yeah, myself that we, every day. We I need all to. Need to. It, it is one of the worst things, but it also helps me go off on these people. So, <laughs> uh, oh, like if I didn't have a page that had this many, like you know, a couple hundred thousand followers, I would take so many more breaks from Facebook, yes, especially right. the last year. Like, yes. there, have been, there have been only a few times where I've been like, I need to turn off the internet. All this is doing is making me go nuts. And I, I feel bad because I know I'm far more of an addict to it now. Uh, but anyway, sorry for interrupting back. To oh, this. no, 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 it's fine. But but so so today, to, to this point right now, and to, to Ian's quote, so someone posted, uh, they were talking about this Nike thing, which we'll talk about in two seconds. They were talking yeah. about, well, uh, Nike's losing money. I said, nope, Nike's still rich. They're still rich. <laughs> And, and, and their stock went up uh, today. Stock went up, right? But then someone yeah. wrote back. Someone wrote back. So is Trump. And I said, first of all, <laughs> you're 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 talking about this from a standpoint of him still being rich. Yes, he may still be rich, but how does that help the poor and the middle class? How? Yeah. And then someone said, well, how is Nike helping? That's not the fucking point. <laughs> <laughs> the company, the, the sports company, is not the one that's supposed to help you, the middle class or poor, get richer. The president is supposed to do that. Yes, so this exactly. person wrote back when I brought up this thing about Trump and all that, and they said, uh, well... You know, he's he's done this. I said, first of all, the economy is not all his. His didn't start till not October. Even, not even close to his. Secondly, I said, he. how are you going to tell me that we were able to give these rich people these tax cuts and you're boasting about having the best economy ever, but you're still not giving federal workers their raises? This goofy, bring it back. This goofy <laughs> chick says, this goofy well, chick. You're say this goofy motherfucker. Yes. Okay this. this goofy motherfucker says. <laughs> <laughs> Comes back and says, well, first of all, you don't understand uh, how this works, okay? Uh, the system works this way. And then she said, well, you know, Trump is not really, it's not his fault. I was like, it, it, it is It is his fault. He's he's, yeah. the president. he's the one that's supposed to help these things go forward. But what she well, said was, what she said was, um, you, hold on, I got to look, I got to look this up. Hold up, because I, I got to <laughs> remember, I got to remember exactly what she said. But, but when it. she said, oh, what she said was, um, God damn it. Keep talking while I remember this. <laughs> Keep talking. Hold on. I have no idea what seconds. she said. But no, no. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Go because I. But, but, but uh, it, it, it's it. funny though because the 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 I, I heard that today that the federal that um that Trump said that the federal federal employees are making too much That's money. It. That's what she said. <laughs> Fuck. She said federal employees are made that they are overpaid. They're and overpaid. I was like, are you kidding this? me? Who, who exactly said this? This is some, some random. Girl, some girl on Facebook. But, but Trump said that. Trump said that the it's, federal employees are overpaid. That's why we need to cut back there. From, their money. Trump's mouth to to the you know to the Trumplicans ears. It yes, just, it gets bounced and, but, back. But, and it's but like, not why? the federal. But but not the high. Not not the not the government. Not the government federal. Not not the not the uh, not the, the, the congressmen. Congress not the senators. None of them. None of them. Just keep not. their races just going. Just the people making the, that 15, 20, 25 bucks an hour. They're just way overpaid. <laughs> but but so okay. to to yes to Ian's point about uh, LBJ's quote is that. This specific person was convinced that this rich motherfucker in office and the rich motherfuckers that he's made richer 
are better off being rich while she and other middle class and poor people just stay where they are. And get actually less because they're getting paid too much. This is bananas to <laughs> me. Getting, yeah, she's okay getting paid. She's no. like, well, I'm getting paid too much. I'm sorry. Well, it's, 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 no. the same, it's the same thing as the minimum wage thing. It, and, and sometimes this shuts people up a lot, but I've had to do it a few times where people would bitch and complain. I had a friend that was a, a nurse somewhere and she was like, um, oh, now they want to pay. They want to pay McDonald's workers fifteen dollars an hour. Oh, how but, dare! Yeah, they? and they're like, oh, bullshit. I'm a nurse and I only get paid eleven dollars an hour. And I'm like, first off, I don't know where the fuck I you are a nurse that you're getting. There's $11 no nurse an hour. Yeah, getting paid eleven dollars yeah. an hour. Most, most nurses I know are making at least in the last few years more money than me. Like, yes, I have friends who are making eighty, ninety a, a grand a year uh, easily from from working as a nurse. And I mean, I get that. That's but but not but but in also area of the world. But that's normal in most cities uh, where. Nurses and, are paid quite well. And also, if 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 we raise the minimum wage to fifteen dollars an hour, guess what, dummy? Your eleven will go to to fifteen. And if you think that your job is so much harder than McDonald's, then quit your fucking job and go work at McDonald's. Go McDonald's. And I mean, like, what is the problem? Like, you want to be you're a nurse because you want to be a nurse. So show. Let me tell you something. Be a nurse. Like, what's the problem? I was a pharmacy it's, tech. Well, they they're a nurse, but it's only okay if they're a nurse if they make more than someone else. Exactly. They that they, that, that's lower than them. But yes, but that's but that's how. I know that this is not that's not true i was a pharmacy tech and this was back in i don't know i've been doing comedy 98 for, yeah, <laughs> yeah so yeah 98 yeah. i was a pharmacy tech and when i left that job i was making 18 dollars an hour yeah, it, yeah as a pharmacy tech 20 years ago yes yeah. so you there's no fucking way you're only making 11 dollars as a nurse in 2018 <laughs> Yes. Unless you're a dumb fucking nurse. Well, I mean, and again, I mean, even if you're making the same. nurses, maybe it's one of them. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but. I know far more anti vax nurses than I do anti vax doctors, just to, yes. <laughs> to point that out. And I'm not saying anything bad about the average nurse's intelligence. They have to do a lot of really, uh, sk of really skilled things. And they catch doctors' mistakes all the time. But right. fuck, they think, some of them think they're doctors and think they know better than medicine. I'm like, this all came from the same system from all the things That's that right. prove to you that they're science. Well, so. to, to sum this up, everybody, there's a reason why this dude ran Republican. There's a reason why he ran Republican because you can you can tell the these goofy motherfuckers anything and they will yeah. believe it as long. Well, I'm sorry, as long as it comes from somebody that looks like them. I will, yeah. I will say now, now, real quick. I, I uh, full disclosure. I told I, for everybody out there who's gonna bitch about this. I understand that TV shows are edited. I understand yes. that documentaries are fake or not fake, but documentaries are are are, are tweak the direction you want and all yeah. that sort of stuff. However, I love watching the Sasha Baron Cohen show, even though he gets he oh gets he gets a little ridiculous and sometimes it's real. Real there, sh toilet there humor and makes uh, sometimes it's so hard. I can't even I can't even open my eyes when some of the the crazy homophobic shit he does. Uh, he's not homophobic, but making making the homophobic yeah. people do it's, homophobic stuff is hilarious. I, but real I, quick, I feel uh, like, uh, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. It's I, I just I I think I, I mean I saw the episode where he was like, let's tell this guy that Arabs are afraid of uh, of gay things, so you yeah. have to act gay to scare them off. I'm like. That's is right. that really a thing that that guy would use? Because I'm pretty sure you could do that. Like, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure Republicans <laughs> are scared of gay people too. Well, did you see so. the one where he put on he put on like a like a strap on and he made the guys bite uh, yeah. bite this? I mean, it's it's so it's so ridiculous. Yeah. But my point is that every time and again again I'm sure it's it's probably edited. Every time oh, he yeah. goes after these Republicans, and he'll do something like, okay, you'll have to bite my dick, and then you and he'll do his little thing, and they'll all do it. Then he goes to someone like Barney Frank, and he goes, this is a picture of. Hillary Clinton and she's yeah. she's a pizza. And he goes, sorry, sir, nope. no, that's not true. They, they don't fall for they it. Never, they almost <laughs> never fall for yeah, it. Yeah, they. It, and this, yeah. it's uh, what was it? Uh, the the he the, actually that the one uh, just now when he asked him, he said, uh, here, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna play this edit video, uh, right. that unedited video of the the pussy grabbing. Uh, thing oh, yeah. here, the full, <laughs> the full where, audio. They were, oh, yeah. they were catching a rat. Where, where, with <laughs> mouth, and so he, he, it's obviously not Trump's voice on the thing, <laughs> but he comes back. He says, "You hear him right there." He says that they were trying to catch mice, and the, and the center comes. He's like, "No." No, that's not. That's no. there's no way in the world he was talking about <laughs> right. catching mice. Right, but but you know, if it was the other way around, and it was a it was a Trump supporter, and it was Hillary Clinton doing that, they'd be like. 
well, yeah, I, well, I don't know, know why we're not investigating this. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing. She, and it's, it doesn't matter how many times she's been uh, not charged when things have been investigated. It doesn't matter how many times she's been cleared. It's it's Hillary Clinton. So she has to have killed children in the basement. Right. Of the pizza hundreds parlor. of pe- hundreds of people. And she's so good. She she made 20 of those hundred people die of old age. Like, that's yeah. how good of a ninja she is. He, here's she the thing. kept them alive for a long time. <laughs> yes. To torture them in their 90s. Poisoned them for 90s. Years, yeah. The, here's the thing that always cracks me about those people with with, with their uh, with their conspiracy theory stuff about about Hillary. It's like, okay, let me get this straight. So, because when people always say, "Well, they're all the same," and it would have been the same, and everyone's as corrupt. I'm like, okay, so Hillary Clinton is a corrupt, murderous ninja who <laughs> controls the world and and is the worst and is the most cor- just the most corrupt. Most she has everybody in her pocket. She's this horrible person. Yet she couldn't beat a half retarded orange. Fucking uh, uh, reality TV star with three million more votes. Really? How did that happen? It, she she, she did this, and oh, and, and on top she of that, didn't she didn't see Michigan on a map, unfortunately. <laughs> yes, and, and she colluded with the Russians to lose, according to the Trumpsters. Now, yeah, I I just because of Uranium is, One. This is a, just a. It's just so desperate. Like this is the guy at the last night of the bar screaming, "But I'm a nice guy." Absolutely <laughs> uh-huh. won't fuck him. Like just go. This is sad. We all like. I, and the sad thing is, like no matter what, give or take a third of the country is going to agree with the person who's straight ticket on their side. And no matter what, a third of the country is going to believe the other guy. And then there's that right. third in the middle that kind of tells you the temperature of the country. And barely any of that third approves of Trump's job right now. Yeah, and and that's what trips. Honestly, I have to you you have to look at this in a normal world where facts still mattered. I forgot what that was like. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that crazy? Like you tell somebody something that is a fact, and you actually have to you have to brace yourself for their defense yeah. of it, as opposed to back in the yeah. day, if you told somebody that something that was a fact, you would just sit back and be like, and wait for them to say, "Oh wow, I didn't know that." Now you sit back and you're like, "What the fuck kind of bullshit?" The counter are you going to come back to two plus two is four right it's so much harder to to just get a fact of the people or get people to believe it because now people are are so much more suspicious of media and it's not look as a journalist it's not unusual uh for media to spin things i have to you know sort through that all the time because i try to like i write about science i try to cite everything with peer-reviewed papers and so i'll find an article that twists the uh you know twists what the peer-reviewed paper says in order to make it sound sexier and like i can see why people wouldn't trust journalism but the answer is not to stop trusting journalism the answer is to become a smarter consumer exactly right and, there. And, to f- and to find the trustworthy journalists yes. that are out sound out. bite get oh, that yeah. sound bite what she did is not don't not trust the media but trust your research that's the yeah. oh goodness gracious i mean are, and there are like the hard thing is and i mean there are web there are some websites on the internet that have uh that, that have called me astroturf because they think i'm paid off by monster Santo or ba- or whoever, and I'm like, nah, just have a look at my, uh, yes. have, like, I have an extensive COI, but like, there, there are people who have been so convinced that you know anything they disagree with is fake news, and they'll find ways to justify that. And we're humans are exceptionally good at motivated reasoning when we just want something to be true. So, by, yeah. by the way, astroturf could be an actual porn category. Uh, <laughs> you oh, could, you could. Oh, put, we're gonna. I'm gonna hunt for that. Yes. There has to be like some some, <laughs> so, and I'm. If I if I had to guess, I would say it's going to be gangbang porn with a football team, and I am there for it. <laughs> but by the way, you know so. which one? Because I, I have the gym. I, I I get calls. I've had a few calls. That's a huge thing now. Gym porn. People picking oh, people up in the gym. So people have have called and said, "Hey, can we have? Can we rent your space?" Oh my god! And That's- uh. You know, That's or, amazing. Yeah, can we raise Please tell space? me you've said yes. <laughs> no, not not yet. No. Oh, come you, on. You should, I got I mean, kids in there. Idea, we can't. Uh, I don't do want to. Don't film when the kids are there, but yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> rush them out. Let, <laughs> let them let them come in and film on a day that you know yes. or after hours I and mean, wipe everything down after. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, I mean. My 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 podcast partner. She owns a. This is going to sound ridiculous, but she literally owns a castle. I, I mean, they're and, and they are uh, renting it out to people, not just you know as an Airbnb, but they've rented it out to someone who wanted to film a, a hip hop video there. Yeah. <laughs> so she's like, she's like, yep. There are bodies being oiled up, and there is a bag of paper bills uh, of dollar bills to be thrown. At <laughs> me here. I'm like, I'm like, damn. Make it rain. Make it rain. <laughs> yeah. Wait, where so, is this I, castle, by the way? 
Uh, it is right outside of New York. Uh, ah. it's, I'll tell, but yeah, it's like Alice. Uh, she's she, she's got an interesting <laughs> she's got an interesting life. I'm like, wow, you rent out your house and you get to watch people being oiled up. Your life is horrible. <laughs> yes, Hilarious. right. How do you deal with this? Uh, yes. Okay, so so we we only got we got about 12, 12 to fourteen minutes hey, left. People people will fucking listen to anything we say. We're going for three hours. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. We are roganing this. Hilarious. Uh, so what we want to do because we didn't get we were it was going to be the first thing we talked about, but we're going to close it with this, which is actually um, is cool. Is this Kaepernick? And Nike thing. So oh, just for boy. the people out there, I don't know. This is what we got to start doing too, because sometimes people don't really know right. all of this shit that we're talking about. They think we're just making it up. But so we're gonna give people the information, and then we'll discuss. So um, uh, to paraphrase, uh, there are a lot of racist dumbasses out there. I'm sorry, was that too much? <laughs> no. Anyway, I'm, I'm shocked. <laughs> this is new information for the world. How did you uncover? I that? know, right? Basically, cliff notes. Um, but no. It, so for the people that don't understand, Colin Kaepernick. Uh, who hasn't played in the NFL in about two and a half seasons now uh, and was banished pretty much because he took a knee, which was also suggested by uh, a Navy SEAL, Nate Boyer, as opposed to sitting. He suggested taking a knee because it wouldn't be disrespectful to the troops. It wouldn't be disrespectful to the flag and all that stuff. He is now been uh, picked up and sponsored by Nike, who launched his whole ad campaign, Just Do It, and uh, which, by the way, Ian and I have both have seen the commercial. It's an awesome commercial. It is, a, if you, let me tell you something. It's an inspirational if you commercial, even if you don't give a fuck about it. That's what I'm saying. If you watch this com commercial and you still hate what the message of this commercial, you have no soul. That, that I'm just leave that out there. So let me ask you yeah. this. What do you think, What do you, first of all, what do you think about Cap taking the knee? Secondly, what do you think about Nike stance in uh, risking backlash they're they're risking a huge backlash uh and in, in, in that whole thing I, a couple of opinions one i completely support colin kaepernick and I, I i'm kind of upset i'm i'm very like i don't give a shit about football but i've been I, i've been fascinated by this fascinated by the uh, the, the kind of atrocious response to, to what he did, which, I mean, a, a soldier had told him, you know, if you're going to protest, you should take a knee. And I'm like, this is the way that this has been twisted to be like, he's against the military. I'm like, no, my brother is is a veteran and he would definitely, uh, he definitely supports this. Uh, so it's been it, like the fact that they're saying, you know, troops fought for that flag. It's like, no, troops fought for this country and for your freedom to protest that flag if you, yeah, if that, you so choose. It's, it's, what, it's uh, the symbol. It's, it's so funny, especially coming from the Christians. Uh, it's almost always the, the Christians on that side. It's like, uh, what about idol worship? You're worshiping the flag, not the meaning of what's behind yeah. the flag. You're, you're, you're pissing on what it means yeah. in, in, in lieu of the, 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 the symbol. Are, it's fucking insane. They're far more into this, you know, into the symbol and looking like they're patriotic and fucking flag pins uh, than they are right. honoring uh, the Bill what of Rights. What it stands for. It, 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 reminds, yeah. it reminds me of a, a great line from a, about, about charity from a Mr. Show. They said, he was, uh, Bob says to David Cross, he goes, David, charity is what you do nice when people are watching. Patriotism is is making sure you you salute the flag when there's people watching. That's basically yeah, well, exactly, and then giving it the finger while you're walking away from. It. Yes, right. but see, but, and that's that's what trips me out about because we we put up this front that we care about the country while at the same time veterans are homeless and they go hungry. We put up this front yeah. of caring about this history and this nostalgia while you're you're giving more creed you're giving more validation to Nazi flag wavers as opposed to people in America that are actually standing up for American right. values. Or Confederate flag. I Confederate, mean, like, you know what I'm saying? I've seen more people make an argument for people waving Confederate flags and uh, Nazi flags than a football player taking a knee and exercising his constitutional rights. I, right. And, and here's just, the other thing. Is, yeah. What's the, the here's, here's what drives me crazy. Even if you're completely against like I had this conversation with my friend yesterday. Let's say you, you, you don't like Colin Kaepernick taking a knee because you for some reason think, even though it's been explained a billion times, that <laughs> this is disrespectful to the military, the flag, the song, whatever. And 
you have a problem with 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 people, you know, in, in Berkeley, which I also have a problem with shutting down speakers and shutting down oh, yeah. douchebags like Milo or whatever who want to speak I, I, free speech. You hate yeah. that. OK, I agree. Like that it's you should be able like if somebody wants to pay someone to come give a talk. Yeah, at let them put up a separate yeah. talk uh, the next week. But but my the thing, best, and if, yeah, if, if you're to handle those, I think is to ignore if, them. If you're otherwise they get publicity. A right. Ton of it. And, and, and my thing is like oh, if and then if, you, if you're against the, uh, you know, the the the. Antifa people, and you're and and but you don't seem to care about the about the, you know you're you're upset when when they're trying to stop the Nazis from marching because you're stopping their free speech. Whatever you th- you see, let's say you think all these cases are, are are violations of free speech, or you think none of them are free speech, or you think it's okay for the NFL to shut down uh, football players because the NFL is a private company, but it's not okay for for them to shut down Roseanne Barr even though it's a, NBC is a private company. Whatever it is you My think, free speech. Well, let's yeah. So let's look at what is at the very bottom. Let's forget about the free speech. Which issues do you agree yeah. with? Do you agree that it's a that that do you agree with Roseanne calling somebody a monkey, or do you agree with Colin Kaepernick saying, "Hey, black people shouldn't be murdered"? Like at the very let's forget about their about their way of protesting. I, I do you agree understand. with their message? Yeah, yeah. And it, like I. I don't understand how they can, how people can have a problem uh, with Kaepernick's very respectful protest. Like this is, you know, they're like, just don't. This isn't the time. Of, where is the fucking time or place? He's taking a goddamn knee. He's not spitting right. uh, on on. He's not like he, he's he's not swearing at Whitey, you know. Which is like, actually, I'm sorry. Go ahead, continue. continue. Okay, no, that's okay. it's it's just I was about to say it's just strange. But go go ahead. Well, no, no. I was going to say to what you were just saying just now is that. When is a good time? When, like, because right. if he's he's because right now technically he's he hasn't done it on the football field in two years. Well, and well, and, you, and it's you other know people. when the you know when the appropriate time is according to these racists. Never it's off the field <laughs> when they can't see it and won't be won't have to. Think well, it, it's about it's it's it's, it's, a, it's the same it's the same thing where they go, oh, this entitled guy, he's a millionaire, and when has he ever been hit by a cop? It's like, hey, dummy, that's how it works. If you have a position of power. You're yeah. a celebrity. You're Meryl Streep. You're Colin Kaepernick. You're 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 whoever the fuck you are. If you have a position of power, first off, you have a lot more to lose because people could stop oh, paying yeah. attention to you. Second of all, exactly. you'd worked your ass to get to a position. And you are standing up for people less fortunate than you. That's yes. what a fucking hero does. That's what yeah. if, if you that's only what sacrifices. That's Absolutely. what it's yeah. That you're standing up for somebody else. That's the fucking point. You you these people have no fucking understanding of what it takes uh, of what it means to be ethical. They have no understanding of what integrity means. And it's like they want somebody because he's because because what you what they're saying is if I were rich. And and I were and I had a great life. I wouldn't give a fuck they about anybody. Say shit. That's, 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 <laughs> that's, that's, that's exactly what they're saying. It's like, well, I wouldn't say a fucking word because it doesn't affect right. me. Yeah. And it's, this is why we. This is why again, because people have issues like, well, why should he even be considered for this? I was like, because he actually did give up a lot to yeah, do this. He, he, he gave up millions. Millions gave up his career, gave up all of this stuff to help people. Who had no voice? If that is not sacrifice, I don't know what else is. And then the fact that they want to bring in the issue with Pat Tillman. Tillman. Let yeah. me tell you something. For and and and, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm saying this in the best way possible. I, I don't yeah. fuck every single one of those people that are using that dude's memory. As even, a, even his his ex his uh, widow said that same thing. Because yeah. what they do is, man, this is what I mean by people pick cherry picking a narrative to make it sound like they care. These people will put a yep. picture up of Pat Tillman and will leave it out that he was actually killed by friendly fire and the government tried to cover it up. They leave yeah. that out because it doesn't fit the narrative of this hero. He's still so a hero, but you don't want to talk there. about exactly. Do you see what I'm saying? So yeah. to me, when we see this type of stuff going on right now. Now, it is really about these people trying to hold on to something that, uh, again, that they've been used to. And, and we'll, well, I'll close this out. And, and, and also, by the way, but on all accounts, including his family, they all say that he would have been, he, he been support. He, right? he would have been support. Yeah. It, so, so, yep. um, but, but we can't have that as part of the narrative. No, it, no. It hurts. You know, just it hurts people's feels. Yes. Exa- that's exactly these, it. These easily triggered Republican snowflakes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Bro flakes, as I call them. Well, oh, it's, like, just, I, oh. it's that thing where I hate I, I kind of hate using that term because I know that, you know, triggering is an actual psychological term. Like I was um, I was sexually harassed at a conference a few weeks ago and there was another girl who witnessed the whole thing and she had been assaulted before uh, and she 
she's like, for the last week, I've barely been able to think because it's just it's thrown me into a tailspin. So I hate using, uh, you know, the term triggering because I know it does look that, you know, the. But they're they're using it derogatorily. They're they're trying they're using it as, you know, to 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 insult people. So I'm like, by saying you're weak, throw throw it back. I I say throw it back at them. It's I'm okay with that. But I hope that we also do it knowing that, you know, there there are people who this is, you know, this is a real thing that they go through. So it's like it's, you know, some people the term is kind of overused right Right. now because everything is is goddamn triggering. But no, like psychological triggers are a real thing. I hate that this because of how fucking fucked up this all is right now uh nobody like there there are people who hear that and go god why are they being assholes to me i didn't deserve but you know that welcome to welcome to one of the part of the uh, to part of the dumpster fire that is 2018 right um so we didn't even get to kavanaugh no, we no, didn't. well, yeah, well, let's just we'll, we'll wrap that up. And, by and, and we forgot to ask guys. you, and we forgot to ask you, you're critical in your thinking, but it's okay. We'll have you back on. How about that? Yay. Yes, I, I, that's, I was going to say, and and I'm going to talk to my co-host, but obviously we would love to have both of you guys come and talk some porn with us. Hey, oh, yes. you, hey, let me know where to be, and I, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, nobody will be more excited to talk about porn than this dude right here. <laughs> and, and he'll tell you his stories about shopping with uh, Nina Hartley. With Nina Hartley. <laughs> <laughs> I love her, and we totally want to have her on the show. She is one. She's so wonderful. Just go down to Gelson's or whatever. Yeah. She, she she goes. She lives. She lives two blocks away from me. And uh, oh my god, I'm telling you, we've had some conversations where I'm like, I can't believe I'm fucking talking to Nina Harley. <laughs> I was like, I wonder it's, if she knows what I used to do. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm sure she, she knows. probably knows. And I'm sure she knows. I'm a fan. Oh, it's like for, for like the porn star that I've been that I shall we say I'm a fan of her work uh, is Lena Paul. She's like she's the current. Uh, really? I gotta look her up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, she's she she is very cute. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna look her up right now. It's like I feel like seeing if somebody enjoys what they're doing, or at least looks like they enjoy what they're doing, it helps a lot. And she just looks goddamn delightful. Wait, wait, was like, it Lena? Lena Paul? Lena Paul, L E N A. I believe she won uh, best newcomer, or you know, newcomer uh, of the year, or something like that, at the AVN. A newcomer. Lena um, Paul. Uh, newcomer. Lena oh, Paul, L-E-N-A. No, no pun. They intended. call her American. She has, Call American film actress. Yeah, we uh, we we try to be really careful about not commenting on people's bodies because you know everyone who's watching has you know somebody out there loves these bodies, somebody out there hates them. So we try to stay away from discussing uh, that in any way that could be perceived as critical. But God damn it, Lena Paul has a beautiful body. Do you know what? I'm I'm looking at her now and uh, I'm I'm inspired. But no, um, no, but actually, let me tell you why. Inspired on your own time, sir. But I'll tell you the reason why I'm saying that is because she has more of a body that actually fits what the average woman looks like. Yeah, she's a little, she's a little yeah. thicker than what you would normally. I love that. That's, yeah, she's not. She's, she's not, not. But I'm saying nor from what we would you know, consider. We're, we're very used to a, a, an extremely low body fat uh, right. percentage in, in our porn performers, and a lot of the performers who you know who stay in the industry for a long, long time, they do tend to whittle themselves down and get very. Uh, very toned and a very hard body because that's the only way you really uh, you're, that your body doesn't start to sag. And also, <laughs> no. and also, cocaine is a hell of a drug. Exactly. But <laughs> well, see, she looks like the type of chick that you will be attracted to, and she can go to Shake Shack with you afterwards. <laughs> after it's, you, have she, sex. Seems, she just seems fucking delightful. I like. I love her, it. I love it. Well, uh, uh, Eva, thank you so, so, so much. Um, actually, you, you know what? Me on. This has been great. No, you know, we, it's all our pleasure. You can stay around if you want. You can stick around. We're going to wrap this up. It, with two things that we we started doing well i'm about to do this one thing and then ian's gonna do what we've been trying to get more of oh, okay um so i'm That's gonna it. close this my part with a, with a rant about stuff and then ian's gonna do his celebrity close out <laughs> yeah, so okay. so i, I want to say this, about. this is my real quick thing here i gotta I, I'm, I'm at this point now where I'm, I'm i've kind of lost faith in in humanity the reason why i say that is because i'm not worried about one person one person in office yeah. is not the thing it's the people that are siding with this dude and throwing all kind of sense of moral responsibility and any kind of ethics out the window just so their guy can get away with the shit that he's getting away with mm-hmm. if you're a human being and you know that it's wrong to separate families i don't give a fuck what color they are it's wrong to separate families yep. period 
if you're a Christian and you're talking about it's okay for this dude to cheat on his wife because he's my guy, you're a bad fucking Christian, period. If you're, you're a person, a bad person oops, too. totally, you are a totally bad person. So to me, I feel like more people have to come back and ask yourself, what type of person are you? Because let me tell you something, this guy has, has changed how America is viewed, period. People used to think it was Obama that would change it. No, this dude did because you're not going to be able to go back and act like this dude didn't make you lose friends and family members. You're not going to yep. be able to do that. Yep. This dude has changed how you view other human beings because yeah. these human beings have changed how they view each other. And I'm telling you something right now. I say it every week. Empathy. Empathy. The fact that we don't still we don't have empathy in this country is why we continue to have this division. Everyone, it, 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 the, the fact that people want us to respect the same history, this is to sum up this Kaepernick thing, the flag thing, the anthem thing. The fact that we want people to have the same kind of view of the same flag and the same song is so misguided because we haven't had the same history. Not, nope. if, if not every person in this country has been treated the same way from the very beginning. And once we realize that, things will start to shift to where people will come to have empathy. So, okay. Uh, and and on a lighter note, Dude, I was just say, can I, can I, can I pause for applause? No, go ahead. <laughs> it's, I was here. I, I was there. You go. It's very awkward to hear one person applaud. No, no, I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, He's so used this, to it. This, this is. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, I've done some bad rooms, but um, so in Ian, uh, since Ian is a master impressionist, um, <laughs> yeah. I have and, and, and so I like to keep him on his toes. So I'm not going to tell him who until the very last second. Ian likes to sign us out. And, uh, <laughs> and 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 summarize his thoughts, and I'm gonna pick the person that he he does it with, uh, and uh, we're gonna pick this week. Uh, 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 can you do? I, I could try, and so the whole point is to try something that I've never done before. Okay, okay. I've so we're this. gonna have we're gonna have Woody Allen <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> sign us out with a message and take us out of Has here. Hashtag triggered. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Woody Allen. Well, I've never actually done Woody Allen, so I'll, I'll give it a try. Um, I don't know if this sounds anything like Woody, but I'll tell you. Um, I'm, v I'm very sorry for triggering you. Um, it was not my intention. I, um, I, I, I just, I just love um, stepdaughters. And now, uh, <laughs> because I have a lot of empathy. Hilarious. <laughs> I have empathy for her, her, her issues. This is not a very good impression. I don't know. Now it's, it's all. all I'm sorry, I have to, I have to stop because suddenly it turned into the Jerky Boys. Hello, I'm Saul Rosenberg. I don't know how it turned into that. Oh my God. But but you know what? Um, no, I tried. That was awesome, bro. I no, did no, that was awesome. That was awesome. Uh, thank you so, 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 so much for doing this. Yeah, I appreciate it. Oh, this was great. Uh, we had a great time. And tell people how to contact you. Oh, uh, you can hunt me down at uh, facebook.com slash Cybabe. Um, my website is Cybabe.com, and I'm both at the Cybabe on uh, Twitter and Instagram. Oh, and you can hopefully check out my new podcast, Two Girls, One Mike, uh, exploring the holes and plot holes in your favorite porn. Nice. Love it. Love it. Thank you so much. And Cy, by the way, is spelled S-C-I. None of this sci-fi S-Y bullshit. No, no, no. This is short for science, baby. Yes, science. Which, which science? Uh, Sci-fi used to be science fiction, but I guess people thought it was skeevy. It's, it's still fiction. It's just now there's a whole lot more bullshit quantums in it. Right. Exactly. Well, cool. Well, thank you very much, Yvette, and um, we will talk soon. And, um, Absolutely. And yeah, hope to have you back on. Can't wait to talk porn. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else, it's critical in thinking. Keep critical. Keep thinking. That's right. Ty Barnett. Ian Harris. Peace.